Okay, they're all my bows. And I got some goodies. So much to do. The thunder woke me up at about four o'clock. It was so loud. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Taylor and I can make scrunchies and bows. I've been doing so for almost nine years now. In today's video, this is part two of my biggest weekend. I'm gonna jump straight into the rest of the vlog. I had to cut it in two parts because it was getting way too long. And I will point out that I have now done an even better market than I previously had done. And this weekend has been absolutely crazy i've done two markets already this weekend and i've got a third one tomorrow and i've already done amazing title is now kind of wrong i guess because it's not the biggest market or the biggest week but anyway we're gonna get straight into the other video thank you so much for watching okay so i just got back from running errands it's a uh, thursday nearly two o'clock oh my god those errands took a very long time but i just got all these from vista print so these stickers turned out really awesome. I love those. Bag's not bad. Bag's not bad. <laughs> so I got a little calico bag. I got this for my auntie because I'm not going to do the teas anymore. And I ran out of large. So And darker colours. I've only got like pink left. So I got that for my auntie. And then I also got these. In this really cute box. So they're pretty much just personal cards. I made them at like midnight, like it was probably 1am when I did this order, so I couldn't even remember what I ordered. They'll do for now. There probably could be more information or different information, but anyway, I have to do my YouTube uh, and then I'll finally get into Vose, but YouTube first. So I'm going to go start editing and I'll see you guys later tonight. Hi guys, it's Friday. Uh, yesterday I spent pretty much the whole day doing the YouTube video and running errands. errands. So today... On my list, I need to print out new signs and Christmas clearance signs. So I'm going to do like a Christmas special on the XLs and the scrunchies. Just to sort of move some more stock because I've got a lot still. Stickers for gift boxes. So I've got these done, which they look really nice. Um, so I might use those, but I got these ones done. These are the ones I was meant to use, but they're kind of off center. You probably won't be able to tell because it's going to be all glossy. Yeah, they're off centre. So I don't know whether I'll use them yet. But I'll think about putting those on the gift boxes. I was also thinking about printing out like what's in the gift box. But I'm not too sure if I'll do that yet. I don't know if I can be bothered. I don't know if it'll be worth it to go to that much effort. And then if I don't sell that gift box, then the sticker will be on it and I won't be able to take it off. I'm going to sort out the backdrop. So I need to get that up, put a curtain on, just make sure it works. I missed out on heaps of stuff earlier on in the week, so I still haven't finished my bows. I've got 45 made mini bows. I still want to make at least another 30 mini bows. I need to make at least about 20 regular size, and I need to make at least... I'm hoping to make at least another 20 of the deluxe bows. I also need to make satin scrunchies. I need to make um, specific Christmas ones like gingerbread uh, and Chrissy, which is the... One that looks like my sticker, which I have anything close to me that I can hold up. Christmas in general, I need to do that big bag of Christmas scrunchies. Thin scrunchies. So I need to make some more thin elastic ones. I'm going to start making these bows again. Oh, and I also need to make mini scrunchies. So everything there I need to make. Oh, and then the heatless coolers. I don't know if I'm going to get any of those made for the weekend.
Okay, I finally finished the bows. Well, the amount that I wanted to. Because now I need to start doing everything else because it's like 5 o'clock at night. <laughs> but I've got all these, you know, done too, which is a big help. And it will save me heaps of time when I go to make more bows. Okay, they're all my bows that I made. So funnily enough, I made what 28 of those 38 of those and 78 of these which is 144 bows so if I made an extra two of each I would have made 150 but I didn't <laughs> that's okay so I'm pretty happy with the bows that I've made just also look how disgraceful like it's just so messy anyway so the bows are done I can tick off the bows now I'm going to do these mini scrunchies, that's going to be next on my list, just need to um, quickly sew across those and then I'm going to start over here, there's like a few different bits and pieces that I can make up, I think these are like thin elastics, these ones here, some thin stuff there, I don't know, I have to go through it all.
Okay, so I've just packed the car for the market uh, tomorrow, sale market. I'm feeling like I am maybe overdoing it because <laughs> I have already so much stock. Oh, I don't know. I don't think I'm going to take the petites because I've already got so much stuff. I really should make more floppy scrunchies, but I feel like I'm not going to. I really need to make more Christmas scrunchies, like XL scrunchies. Uh, not for tomorrow, but just in general. Okay, I'm going to finish elasticating this many more and then I have to make them. So I've got a couple in here, another one like this and another one like this. And then I also need to make a whole bunch of XLs by Sunday. But I can do that, I guess, tomorrow. I'd like to have at least these ones so I can put them in the gift packs. I'm gonna bring all these to the market with me and also this stuff over here. I should be able to get it all done. And then tomorrow when I get home from the market, I'll sew the label in and cut the threads. Okay, I just finished all of these as well, XLs. Uh, I'm gonna go to bed and I won't be back on until after the market tomorrow. So I won't bring you to the market I'll bring you to the careers collective though. Hi everyone. I'm back It's currently raining uh, pretty hard. I went to sale today. It was sunny. I'm in a dress. It was quite warm uh, It did get pretty cloudy after a little while I'm super tired though, like I just want to go to bed. <laughs> sale was super super quiet. Um, it was very yeah, there wasn't many people around and everyone did really poorly. I usually do about $500 at that market, but maybe six or $700 in the Christmas season. Keep that in mind. <laughs> I did 400 or around about, I think it was a little bit more than 400. So yeah, it was definitely, definitely could feel it. Uh, and even though the weather was pretty good. Yeah, but now it's raining. Um, I'm feeling very, very sorry for another market's on tonight. The ground there is very dirty, like it's dirt. So it's gonna turn into mud uh, and it's raining there. So it's just it's not gonna be good. Oh, I also went to Spotlight and I got some goodies. I got a whole bolt of this. It was down to like, hmm, let me think. It was $6 a meter on clearance. It was 20% off that, 20% uh, off clearance fabric. So it was $4.80. Then I used a coupon, so I purchased, I think the first transaction was $140 and I got it for $100, so it was like an extra 30% or something would have been extra. Um, so yeah, I pretty much got this one for maybe $3 a meter, maybe $3, three to $4 a meter, which is really good. Uh, this is one that I already have, so I'm a bit excited about that. Put that in my corner with all my other bolts. And then I also got some other bags. Where are they? I got more corduroy. So we got that one. That's a new one. I got like eight meters of that or something. But this one, that is new, but I have had it at markets. And then I got, I found this on clearance. And I almost didn't see it. I almost walked out. I, I just was looking around, like, just sort of like, while she was doing my 
lot of fabric and then I saw more clearance fabric hiding over in the corner and then I went over there and I found it because I did find another one here. I'll show you this one. Oh, it's for the bottom bag, so I'll show you the rest first. I got this one. This one. Oh wait, it wasn't at the bottom. <laughs> okay. So this is the one I found that was on clearance, but I found that in like a easy spot to find. This stuff's usually like $30 a meter. Like it's gone up crazy price. Uh, it used to be like 27, maybe 26. So it's still pretty expensive for spotlight. I got this one for, it was $10 with 20% off, $8. And then I had the coupon. So super happy about that. And I'm keen to try out the black one because the white one sells really well. And then I also got the one. So more corduroy. So there's heaps of corduroy that was on clearance. So I was super excited. That was a pretty good haul. I just finished off the bolts for most of them. Still have so much to do. Have to print out so many new signs. Also, I was thinking of all the things I needed to get done. Oh, and as for the stuff I brought to the market with me though, I got most of it done. So I clipped all the bows. My fingers hurt so bad after doing all that. But yeah, I clipped nearly 150, 150 bows. I snipped threads off. Uh, all the minis that my mum is bringing tomorrow to Glen Gary, and all of the XL, the darker color XLs I did at the start of the vlog. So it was like Monday or Tuesday that I just ran those through. Oh, and I did about two thirds of the flipping under, flipping that part under and over. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna finish off flipping, doing the under and over, and then I'm gonna sew the labels in. And then I think we're almost up to the admin sort of side of things. There's a couple more scrunchies I needed to finish XL ones. Oh, I still have to do the XL scrunchies. Yeah. I ended up sewing all the XLs last night. So I needed to thread them, sew the elastic, put the labels in. Still need to do that. So much to do. I am super concerned about this weather. Not particularly for me. Like, yes, for me because, like, there won't be as many people at the market. But I am inside. More for my mum, because she's going to be at the Glengarry one. Is meant to storm tomorrow. But then again, it was meant to storm last last weekend and it didn't, so I don't know. don't know who to believe. I'm just going to have to see what happens, I guess. It's been bag. So good. I haven't sat down all day. Uh, besides driving, that doesn't count.
Okay, Reese has done this whole bag of scrunchies. He's uh, clipped them all apart. So, yeah, now I have to pack everything and sort everything out. I just finished the advents. I just, yeah, it doesn't look that great. That was the first one I did, which I didn't um, glue properly, but these ones aren't as bad. So, yeah. Got the kids and got the scrunchy ones. And then I put it on the back because I don't know, it looked nicer like that. Mum's just helping me out. Alright, time to pack the car again. So we managed to fit everything in Mum's little. Currently got this big scrunchy board, my other scrunchy board, the other boards, and my trolley, which is up the back there. Should have plenty of room. It's just started to thunderstorm and have massive lightning strikes and now I'm freaking out for tomorrow. Oh, it's starting to rain now. Ah. Alright, so it's currently raining pretty heavy. Um, I'm going to go shower and get ready for bed because I have to wake up really early tomorrow because I'm going to like put makeup on and stuff. Um, yeah. Finally finished everything. Got every I, I got everything I wanted to get done done except the heatless curlers, but I sort of just gave up. <laughs> I want to sort of trial them a bit more. I don't want to just sell them, yeah, straight away. I want to do some more tests with them. So, I just put a new battery in this. It's got like two hours left. So, I'll see you tomorrow morning. Okay, hi guys. It's been raining all morning. The thunder woke me up at about four o'clock. It was so loud. Um, but yeah, just getting ready to head off now. This is the outfit. It's not what I wanted to wear. I wanted to wear a dress, but it's going to be like minus five in that pavilion. <laughs> it's going to be freezing. So anyway, we're going to head off.
Oh no! It's a ladybug. Oh, it's a ladybug. Wait. Focus, focus. Okay. Hi everyone. Oh my goodness, I'm back. Back home. Where to start? Well, for one, my battery died real early on and it was actually too busy anyway for me to go talk to people in film. So it started off pretty slow and I was like really concerned and thought my auntie and Brody and my little cousin Brody probably wasted their trip from Phillip Island to come help me. But it turns out I'm so glad they did because uh, Auntie Cass was serving and I was serving and just like I'm trying to like bag stuff at the same time. It did get very, very busy for a bit there. So I'm super thankful because the weather, the weather, oh my goodness, it would just pour, like pour, pour, pour and thunder. And then all of a sudden it would go sunny. And then it would go pouring again. So I feel so bad for the people that were outside. I think a few people did lose their gazebos and like had them damaged and stuff. So that's a shame. But there was a lot of people that did stick through it and yeah, knuckled down. And I'm hoping they did really well. I did really well. It wasn't exactly how much I wanted. I wanted 2000, that was my goal. I got 1807. It's still really good, it's my best market that I've done so far. If I include what mum made in the hour that she was at Glengarry, it will go over 2000. Because mum, mum did go to Glengarry, um, she was on and iron because it was super rainy and wet and windy. It was most of the wind that was concerning her. But her and dad ended up setting up but then it was just too windy, so they ended up packing down after an hour. But in that one hour that was set up, they made $211. So if they were able to stay for the whole time, I think they would have done really well. Because Glengarry is one of my best markets. So usually, yeah, sit around $800 to $1,000 there every market. Uh, especially, yeah, coming to Christmas. Had a really, really good day. I had very, very low expectations, especially with the weather. So I'm very happy <laughs> with all my sales. And it was so nice meeting so many of you guys. So many came up to me. So many people came up to me and was like, oh my God, what's your YouTube channel? And like, yeah, it was really nice. That always makes my day. It's always like, oh. <laughs> but I have face blindness. So if you come up to me again, I probably won't recognize you, but I may remember your name. But the next time I see you, then I'll remember who you are. Like, I can't actually even picture these people in my head right now. Like, I cannot for life me. But people that I've seen twice before, no worries. It's a thing. I don't know. Yeah, can't for the life of me remember what they look like. It's terrible. But, the yeah, next time I, I see them, I might recognize them. And then after that, I'll be able to, like, oh, I'll be able to bring bring their face in my head. But I was like, oh yes, I'll be able to recall their faces. 
All right, let's go through. The scrunchie board was a massive hit. I ended up selling a heap of XL scrunchies. I think I sold a whole tub's worth, which was really good. So I'm gonna try and do that again because if I can sell those, it'll be really good. Plus, they were super cheap. I ended up doing um, a deal. It was meant to be four for 55, but I actually messed up and it was four for 50, but then it'll be fine. So that's pretty much wholesale price. So yeah, it was a really, really good deal, but I, that's why I sold so many. So I was really glad to sort of get money from those. I think that's why I did so well. The mini bows were like the first to go. I ended up, I think I brought 50 or 60 with me. I ended up with like maybe 20 left, maybe 15. Um, they went really well. The standard size, size bows went okay. The deluxe bows, I barely sold any. The scrunchie stands, I sold a heap. I think I sold maybe five or six. The regular scrunchies, I didn't sell that many. I maybe sold 30, 40. There wasn't actually that many that got sold. It was more the XLs that everyone was keen on. And then the gift boxes, so that's where a lot of the money came from because I sold a heap of gift boxes. I came with, I think I sold maybe 15 gift boxes all up. Maybe. I don't know. At the, it just ended up being like, I couldn't even record what I was selling because it was just going so quick and like there was like three people serving. So um, we were just quickly trying to write down as much as we could. Like we just ended up writing numbers down rather than writing what it was because it was just too hard to keep track of. Yeah, I'm super tired now. Um, I've been up since four because there was thunderstorms. I can't even remember if I jumped on this morning, but yeah, there was, there was massive thunderstorms this morning. I have to check on my gazebo because mum said that it bent, but it seemed to be, it's packed down. So I think it might be okay, but I'll have to check it out and see. I also have to wash the walls and stuff because apparently it got muddy. And a couple scrunchies fell into the mud. So I feel really bad that mum went because it sounded like it was a horrible time. Now I just need to unpack everything. I've unpacked the car, but there's all of the excess stock. So I've got stock from two markets, which need to go back in the wall before they get crushed. I need to figure out what I'm going to do about the big scrunchie stand. I was only going to bring it to certain markets, so I need to sort of... Yeah, I need to sort of see which ones I might bring it to. Like next week I've got Merbu and... The Christmas Parade in Trilgham. I won't bring it if it's going to be wet. Like, it's just, it's not happening. But if it's going to be okay and, like, not too windy, I'll bring it. But I want to get a, a mat to put underneath, just in case as well. I don't want them falling on the ground. That's it. <laughs> That's my very, very, very long vlog. If you came and said hi today at Crayers Collective, thank you so much. It was really lovely meeting you guys. If you came purchased, thank you again. And also, thank you for watching. I'm going to go now. All right. I need to say it again. Thank you so much for watching and have a lovely day. Bye!